See, I'm a relief seeker. I don't want to change. I want relief. And relief is all about the ego. You know, I want, I want attention. I want to get laid. I want a good job. I want money. I want toys. I want, I want prestige. It's me, 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 me. I'm like the, this vacuum going through life desperately trying to fill up my vacancies. And the odd thing about that is that this is a hole that you more, the more you put into it, the bigger the hole gets. It doesn't fill. It just gets emptier and more vacant. And I don't know that. I don't know that, that I'm, I'm, I'm on this losing course. And, and I, a psychiatrist, a great psychiatrist in Pennsylvania, a guy who's worked now over 50 years in the field of alcoholism, he's also a rabbi, Abe Torsky. I was in, I was in three places he was involved with over the, over those years. He nailed me at one place. He, he said to me, he said, you're, you're going to relapse yourself to death. He says, guys like you, you don't get any better. Oh, you may stay sober even for years, maybe a decade or so, but you never recover. You never get any better. He says, the reason you don't get any better is that you're so ego dominant, even though you have no self esteem, that you can't listen or observe anything in order to learn something new. You can only listen to see how you're already right. Oh my God, that was me. I just sit in those AA meetings and sit there in my throne of contempt and judge everybody. And, you know, I just pick you apart. If you said something I agreed with, you were brilliant, but you were probably going to be drunk before the week's out. Uh, and I'd sit there and tear you apart. And I'd sit there and just look at the speakers and, is that a toupee? Uh, oh, she's, she's cute. Are those real? Uh, Oh, no, listen to this guy. He sounds like a Hallmark card in a recovery bookstore. Stop it. So I remember sitting in meetings. I just judge all. Oh, and, and the slogan slingers. Oh, I just made me nuts. I mean, I remember one time feeling like I was being stoned to death by refrigerator magnets just from a recovery bookstore. One day at a time. First thing is first. Let go and let go. Just stop. Stop. Would you? Stop. And what's that about? See, my ego is more, has a greater survival mechanism. It will use all my powers of, of cognizant thought to judge you and push you aside and discount you because it will do whatever is necessary to protect its status quo and stay in charge. My ego does not want to give nothing up. And it's, it's hideous. If I, if I ever, if I ever die of alcoholism, if I ever drink again, you can bet that I filled up and stayed entrenched with me for a sustained period of time. And I fill up with me. Don't, don't get me wrong. I have not gotten free of this stuff. What I am because of the chronic nature of alcoholism is I'm like the back of a toilet tank. You can flush it and it empties right out and I just start filling up with me. You know, I just start filling up with me again. 